Hello! This is a video about N95 masks, why you need one, and the proper way to put one on. Here in California, major wildfires have become a frequent occurrence that fills the air for hundreds of miles around with smoke. Sometimes it smells like barbecue, sometimes it smells like nasty chemicals, and sometimes it doesn't smell like anything. But no matter what, it's bad for your lungs. And you need an N95 or better filter mask. This is not a filter mask. This is a surgical mask. This won't help with smoke. This is also not a filter mask. This is a dollar store dust mask. This also won't help with smoke. What you really need is an N95 or better filter mask or a paint respirator. These masks are certified as able to filter out the fine smoke particles that you extremely don't want in your lungs. Once you have the right kind of mask, you'll need to put it on every time you go out into the miasma. A paint respirator has cartridges that you change out after a while. A disposable mask can be reused until it gets hard to breathe with it on or until it's visibly dirty. Then you throw it away and start using a new one. If you live with anyone, everyone in your household should have their own mask. If there's smoke out there right now, it'll probably be hard to find these in stock. You can order online, but shipping might be delayed for the same reason. Your best bet is to buy a box of these when the state isn't on fire. How to put on a disposable N95 filter mask. Step zero, if you have facial hair, sorry, you're gonna need to deal with that first. The mask needs to be flush against your face, which won't happen if there's hair in the way. The problem particles are smaller than the width of a human hair, which means your facial hair creates a gap big enough for them to get through. So I'll be back in a minute. Step one, put the mask against your face covering your nose and mouth with the metal strip facing up. Step two, pull the lower band over your head and let it go behind your neck. If you have long hair, pull it up over the band. Step three, pull the upper band over your head and let it go behind the crown of your head. Step four, if you're putting on a new mask for the first time, Pinch the metal strip tight against your nose and press the ends tight against your face. The metal will spring back a little, don't worry. You want it to exactly fit the shape of your nose and face. Step 5. Check each side of each of the straps and make sure they're laying flat, not twisted, so they stretch and pull evenly. Now your mask is properly fitted and adjusted. You should feel the mask press onto your face when you breathe in. 